Hey there, homeless community and lovers of homeless people. And I, to my channel subscribers, I do apologize. It has been a bit of a while before you know, between postings. I have a bit of a problem, and I'm going to talk about it right now. Uh, you know, I loved where I was. When I was homeless in 2014, I got a voucher, and I got an apartment. And the windows, man, I mean, the skies out those windows. I have so many pictures, man, they're all over the world. You gotta look around because a lot of them are old, and you know, you have to look. But listen, man, I love just photographing out the window because I was disabled and it was hard to get out. And you know, they they talked about you know, you know doing this new building called Brooklyn. You know, it was an old building that they were gonna redo. And I begged them to show me the apartment. I don't know why, maybe, I don't know. I just wanted to see it, you know? And I was hanging out with this property manager at Wesley Housing at my apartment building that seemed to be such a beautiful, warm, wonderful person. I loved her, man. I loved her. I, we're, we were both from the LGBTQ community. So there was, you know, that connection, and she just was so warm. And they were remodeling this place, and they had one place open, and they took, they took me over there, and man, oh my God, granite countertops. You open the door of the closet, and all the lights come on. Central air conditioning, central heat, a private, huge patio. Dude, I was like, oh, oh, God, could I live like that? And they whisked me away. And I pleaded, actually, for a long time for, for an apartment there. My, my name was on the list. Claudia, you put my name on the list. But for some reason, for some reason, you never let me have it. God, you people, man. Well, I'm sorry for my emotion, and I'm sorry for the pauses, but this is a hard thing to tell. They were going to tear down the building, relocate everyone in apartments they liked, help them do it, all this stuff. And I said, you yeah, know, yeah, all right. And, uh, I mean, I was even, like, standing up in the, in the, lobby of, of Hawaii Ave where I lived standing up in front of everyone and telling them yeah man let's go with this Wesley I asked a lot of questions man <laughs> I think it really frustrated frustrated those people because I just I just kept asking like blatant questions making sure it was really clear because there's a lot of like little bullshit going on and you get this lawyer standing over here <laughs> cool dude with a goatee wearing some crooked hat <laughs> man Jesus Christ we were conned absolutely conned and they you know they got that building yeah they got it Uh, 
Um, well, they, you know, they're relocating us, and suddenly, without me having anything to do with it, they pick an apartment, where the windows look out at brick walls. And it has a patio. And I walk out on that patio and I cry. I just, it just fucks with me so bad, man. Um, Jesus Christ. And then they tried every which way but loose to try to get me to take it. They got all, listen, <clears throat> I have a voucher. They moved it over there. They had the place inspected. I kept asking them, well, let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. It was crazy how that worked out, man. But, you know, I did have people looking in on me. Um, Caroline Hennessy. She's an advocate for tenants. And she said, Jake, they cannot move you out of that apartment. I mean, it will take a long time. I mean, you could stay there forever. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Tamika told me, you know, this is the winter time. She told me, keep in mind, I'm a formerly homeless person of 14 years. She told me, oh, it's cold out there. Are you sure you don't want to take that apartment, Jacob? She called me and say, it's moving day. We can send the movers today. Jacob, you don't want to end up homeless. Shit like that. And I complained about it, and she denied it. She even denied it to me. I'm a Christian woman. I sing in the choir. Jesus Christ, woman, what? <clears throat> no, I refused. I held my ground. I stayed there in that fucking rotten place that was mostly empty, with just a few of us there and the mice, and the mice, all of them. We always had problems with mice. They all came to our apartments. They were hungry. They were screaming at night, screaming during the day, crawling on us. At one point, everyone was gone from this building. They said that, we, Wesley said they were there. I was scared to go out. I didn't want to go out. I didn't want to walk around the building. They had the light turned off in front of my apartment for months. The, ho the hall was dark in front of my apartment. There's so many stories I could tell you for years and years of living there. They were forcing me. I was like, no way. No way. Well, finally, they put me on Cedar Street. Listen, man. I, you know, I always consider my, this, myself this little guy that would walk out to, you know, certain places in D down down T downtown D.C. and hand out socks and, you know, do my thing, try to, you know, help. I am limited. I'm sorry. I'm disabled. I'm broken. I try to do it, though, and I had, I had a few supporters, and I, I kept at it. I've been doing it, but I, I didn't want to make videos, to be honest with you. I got, I got tired of trying to videotape homeless people, man. 
I mean, some people, you know, they got to do that, but I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. I don't want to. It makes me feel bad. I mean, it's like these private people. I mean, these people, like, oh, God. I mean, we're supposed to have houses. You know? Then I see the videos, people. Making jokes about the tent cities. Bulldozing the tent cities. My God, man. My God. You know, the culmination of all the bullshit. It absolutely sent me over the edge. And for five days, I chewed my shit. I put crazy shit out there. <laughs> I mean, crazy, crazy. <clears throat> I realized I exposed the other. You know, I'm just going to go around and let people know what is going around. I'll try to post more frequently. It's hard for me to navigate YouTube, change channels, do this. It's very difficult to do that. But I'm going to try to do it because i got to let people know. Love you all.